places uh, the littoral. We'll just put the ocean side on this one. Uh, all right, so then this hill right here, and one, two, three, four. One, it'll be in this quarter right there. And this hill. Four, one, two, three, four. So this one is going to have to go here so that it doesn't um, interfere with that. All right. One, two, three, four. The this one would have to fit into here, but I don't see where it can fit without without being too close to this. And you know, unless, unless this fits into the in the halfway point, I think that's really about all we can do. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. I hate to not put that into the game. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's so nice looking. Oh, thanks. Thanks. So, um, okay, and then actually this one is uh, scratch built, just like a wooden block and and uh, scratch built. I can't wait to see the ships. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's fun. So, uh, okay, so uh, I'm the defender, so I'll place my camp first. I'll put it right here, and then I'll place your camp. Okay, and then I'll place my armies. All right, so um, I can try to defend my camp with the consumer of Catan. Okay, I should really mark the twenty and a half or point there. Yeah. Are these the same distance? Uh pretty much, yeah. They're about a foot long. So right where that mark is is Oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah. That's a good that's a good idea. It looks like this one's longer, but it's not for me. Yeah. I don't know from your perspective. Okay, so this one basically um, slows you down. It's it's rough going. Um, Covers? Yeah, it, it would provide... Uh, I don't think it provides any, uh, any negative consequences in combat. So yeah, Hamlet is um, is considered rough going, so it's not it's not bad going. Uh, it's just rough going, so it slows you. It would slow you down, except for fast troops. I mean, they, they go through normal speed. Um, these two are difficult hills, so if you're in here, your solid war band would be at a minus two. If you're if you're if you're anywhere in there, um, same thing with your cavalry. Basically, any of your troops except for your little Samoy there. Would be at a disadvantage on the hills. So this but is no cover. That's right. no cover. Um, it's. I mean, I I couldn't shoot through it, but if I'm you know, like on the edge, I guess I can shoot out. But I don't think I'm going to be even putting my bows in there. So um, I think I'm going to keep the general back too. <laughs> um, Are you okay temperature wise? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I want to make actually make a nice looking uh, waterway with like waves and use Mod Podge make it look kind of glisten. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Thinking about that vinyl sheeting that I have, mounting it on like a cardboard yeah. that gives some stiffness. Right. Like you said, put the Mod Podge on, and it. Mm -hmm. I've played, you've seen it on the French Army War stuff, where I played with the waves and just a little bit of light and mixing colors. Oh, yeah. Color. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, that's, that is good. So, all right, go ahead and uh, lay your guys out. So, uh, those are all your arrows? Uh, oh, yeah. Where, where are my arrows, anyway? Um, See, so, uh, yeah, this, yeah, this is my bow unit right here. Okay. So, um, yeah, actually, should I put him? Maybe I should put these guys up here. And I just have the bows kind of in the middle there so I can move them either way. Okay. To right into. So that's a difficult hill. That's a difficult hero, hill, yes. And uh, what does it cost me to get up the hill? Um, all right, so when you're on the hill, it's going to be at your bad going rate. So on 
your warband solid if you go all the way up to the right side. Actually, the warband is not is never affected by that going. So you're all you're still going to be two base widths even on that hill. Okay. Where you'll be at a disadvantage though, maybe. Actually, now that I think about it, it says any but an auxilia warband bows or soloi in close combat in bad going is a minus two. But you're one of the exceptions, so warband are not even affected on this. So the only troops that would be affected by this is your cavalry. Okay. So yeah, and the cavalry, of course, then if you look at uh, movement rates, uh, it's four to one. So on here, they're down to one base width. That makes sense. All right, so now I place all mine? Yes. And how far away am I supposed to go? Um, well, up to three base widths uh, from the center line. And then uh, from the sides, you have to be at least four base widths away from the sides. Except for your Saloy, they can get with them too. That's a nice one. Hang on, that's good. Nobody in the load in there. So do you know what we're playing, the, or where, and where we're playing on Saturday? Here. Are we, oh, we're going to be here? Yeah. Okay, cool. And who's, is uh, Robert Hawkins coming on? Yeah. Awesome. Robert. Um, Chris. Chris. Uh, Chris. Uh, oh, yeah. A little too close there. Though, buddy. Uh, so, yeah, actually, yeah, four, four base widths. Mm -hmm. So even that part right there has to move. Bullpucky. Yeah. Yeah, the Savoy can be out on the flank. That's, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so these are my IKEA colors for the Vikings. Now, is this a formation? Uh, it's not necessarily a formation. It's just, you know. Can they move as one unit? You can't. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I don't know where my horses are going. I don't know. Getting in the mud, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, all right. Uh, let me go ahead and roll the move then. For. I knew he was going to move this up. Yeah. That's why I was trying to scoot over this way as far as possible. Yeah. So this scenario is specifically designed to, to reduce the battlefield by playing this river here? Or did you select this as part of your terrain? Well, it's, yeah, it's one of the terrain choices. And actually, it's the compulsory terrain choice for littoral. So, yeah, any, any kind of army that ha that's defending in littoral uh, regions uh, is going to have a water line. It's okay. compulsory, but I mean, it could end up. Uh, it could end up on any one of the four. So it could end up behind you, like where it represents your landing, right. or it could end up behind us, where we're caught against the the uh, seashore. Um, okay, so let me see what I can do here with with these guys here. I'm really gonna try to try to flank you or something. Alright, so that's going to be free. My full movement. Now, if I hit you at a diagonal, yeah. is that to my advantage? Or to well, my advantage? Um, well, okay. Uh, if you're hitting me with, uh, if you're hitting me uh, yeah, as, as part of a group, mm -hmm. Um, then you're supposed three to, like this. Right? Then, well, then yeah, you're you're supposed to conform to me because I'm part of the group. If I was just by myself and you you touch me, then I conform to you. Okay. That's how that works. That breaks up your unit, so I can see the the disadvantage of that. Right. So that's one, two, and bow. Yeah, bow. Yeah, bow and our movement rate bow. Yeah, these are fast bow though. So they can move three as well. What's their range? 
Uh, okay, so nice. bow range. Well, actually, yeah, it's uh, maybe not necessarily so. It's bow ranges three base widths, which is marked off on this thing. Okay. So that right there is is bow range. So actually, it looks like I've got you on the range there. I can actually shoot at you, and we'll see. What do you call them? Poseidon? Uh, my slingers. Siloy, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, like PSOI. Uh, so one, two, three. Oh, you said those this guys. Guy in contact. Four. <laughs> yeah, but they have to be in contact. All right. So, yeah, and as the um, the sequence of play is concerned, uh, it doesn't even show the, no, it doesn't even show the sequence of play. So after moving, uh, yeah, I roll, I dice for my pips, I move my, my elements, then we resolve shooting. So, uh, with the bow, within three base widths of your soloi, you're gonna shoot. Alright, so let's take a look at what the, what the odds are. Okay, bows, fast or solid, uh, versus foot, it's plus two. Okay. And soloi is plus two against any of as well. So, it's just a straight up roll, plus two. Okay, so three plus two is five. Do I have a defense? And you, yes, you roll just your dice. Straight up. Just straight up plus two. All right, so your five plus two is seven. So seven to five, you beat me, uh, but you're the target. You're not shooting back, so nothing happens to me, but nothing happens to you either. Okay. I'm sorry, why did I get the plus two? The, because Saloy versus foot versus, uh, is plus two. Even on a ranged attack. Even on a ranged attack, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The only uh, target that has a distinction on uh, a, a ranged attack is blades. Blades being shot at is, is plus four instead of plus five. Okay. okay. Um, but that's it. It's your move. Okay. That's a tough decision. Nice solid movement, which is a yeah. two movement, right? Two movement, yeah. Nice three. Yeah. Let's do it. So it's slow, right? I think it's a two versus foot versus your plus two versus foot. Yeah. And plus four versus mounted, but you're mounted a way over there. I can catch you on Let's see if any of guys can take it out. Okay. Alright, so. In general, so I do not have the activity system with him. All right, so is that it? That's it. All right, so let's resolve a little combat over here. Plus two to plus two. Six. Oh, six plus two is eight. <laughs> Three plus two is five. All right, so you didn't double me, which is good. All right, so bows um, being less than destroyed by mounted, else recoil. Mm -hmm. So I go half a base width, which is basically just my base depth. All right, but there's no follow up. I mean, so loyal don't follow up. On that. Okay, yeah, if you want to see who follows up um, Pursue, it's either an asterisk or the little dagger symbol. Okay. And uh, so you can see the ones that follow up are going to be blades follow up, um, elephants will follow up, hordes will follow up, knights will follow up, including heavy chariots. Uh, actually, three knights and, and heavy chariots, but not, not four knights, which are your, uh, your cataphracts. Pikes will follow up. Scythe chariots will follow up, and then Warband will follow up. So, 
Uh, all right, it's my move. Yeah. All right. Okay, six. Mm. Very good. Not good. All right, so um, I'm going to start wheeling this big group here. Okay, so that's going to be one. After my general. Mm -hmm. That's just one, right? Yeah. Okay. It's just one base width. And I still got two more ones because they're fast. Can you start a, a group move together and then split apart and spend. Uh, no, no. Months? A group move would be you, you're going to stay together. Okay. So, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So, i um, going to wheel through the last two base widths of my move. Actually, the, the fact that in DBA 3.0 that movement change to base widths makes it much easier for your measuring stick to be used for doing those extra moves. Yeah. So one, two, um, and I'm going to go this way, three, four for these two elements here. Yeah, I want to be close enough with my general so I can affect some combats here, but I don't want to put myself in too much danger. This is definitely a much different game. Yes. You can see the speed of those guys. Coming. Yeah, so that, this, the whole point of, of trying to put these guys way out here is to try to outflank you. Yep. And hopefully over here I outflank you. All right, two to two. Let's do some shooting. Do some shooting. Five plus two is seven. Three. Seven to three. That's double. All right, I think that might have you, but let's let's see. Saloy, less than uh, we don't have, but, but doubled, destroyed by knights, calf, three cam, light hearts, light camera, if and good going, or by bow, auxiliary, saloy, and close combat. Recoil from elephants or size shoot. All right, so you're okay. You'd be destroyed by a bow in close combat. That's what the CC means. Right. Recoil from elephant size chariots. Else flee. All right. So what fleeing means is that you're basically going to go your full movement. Uh, to the rear. So I'm semi-blocked. You're semi-blocked, yeah, but um, just um, just move dir directly back there. Okay, am I facing this way? Or um, actually, yeah, you you can just turn to face the other way. And we'll look at that later. So, alright, it's your move. Four. So I have to come in with an base to base contact in order to uh... Uh, right you'll, you'll be conforming to this group if you if you contact you know, if you contact these guys you want to conform or you know, at least line up uh, with me. So when I'm trying to wheel and come forward, if I just go straight forward right. and come into contact with this edge, right. you have to conform to me, right? No, because if I if I were a single element I would conform to you. Okay, now stop right there. Yeah, this this was oh, that's this guy minute. stopped short. So this guy is going to have to conform to that. Okay. Okay, uh, but these guys here, as they come into uh, one base width, though, are going to have to start wheeling. I start wheeling where you start. Wheeling. You have to start wheeling. Okay. So, um, all right. So. Move these guys back here a little bit. So, uh, so these guys, yeah, these guys are going to have to start wheeling in this direction 
Okay, so it may not have, have right. had enough to come to come to contact. Right, right. Okay. So yeah, if, as long as you just get up to this, even that. That's what I was trying, trying to figure out. If I went straight forward, would it make the wheel happen? Or if I uh, no, you, approach, I have to wheel the forward. Right, right. Okay. Makes sense. And then these guys. So that's two movements. Right. Three, four, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, all general. right. So let's go. Let's go with this guy right here. So uh, I am bow. Uh, so bow versus foot is plus two. Okay. Um, warband is plus three versus foot. Um, yeah, and warband versus any foot is plus one for a rear rank support. Uh, yeah, but I've got an overlap there, so I'm gonna be a plus one. Plus one to your plus four. Oh man. Okay, so ten to what well, three plus one is four, so you doubled me. I think it's that pretty sure that's gonna destroy me. So bows uh being doubled are destroyed, so they're just picked up. Uh, Alright, and that's all we got so far, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, five. Alright, so these guys right here are going to have to wheel. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, I've got uh, a movement of three, so I'm just going to wheel to get uh, to get uh, lined up with you, you know, so our lines are parallel. And then moving straight forward after that. Now, this is where um, we have to be corner to corner, so we shift to line up. Okay. Just one stand, right? Uh, right, you can't shift all the way up. Well, right, right, yeah, you can only shift up to, like, a half a base width. Okay, that makes sense. So, all right, so that's one. Uh, now these guys right here, this is going to be two, now these guys right here, I don't think he's going to, well, actually he's got three base widths, we'll take this guy to here. Okay. Okay, so that's what he's going to do. Um, so one, two, three. That's really not very nice. No, it's not nice. Nice. Okay, now that goes, uh, something new. Two, three. Tactical genius. I know. Remember, as you train your pack. Okay. Four. 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 Have you ever heard of Patton's poem through the glass darkly? What is it? Patton's poem through the glass darkly. Through the glass darkly. Oh, I think he, they quoted it in the movie, in the film. But it's pretty uh, awesome. yeah, someone was telling me once that he believed that he was real comedy. Right, that's what kind of they went through in in the film. Yeah, that, but yeah. like my feeling on it was yeah. like he wasn't reincarnated. He just actually believed that he had the mind of a general. I, you know, I just, yeah, you never know what he was actually. Kind of, thinking. kind of strange. Yeah, yeah eight fifty three. So let's let's keep going here. Um, okay, so I'm going to start on this end. I think I have an advantage here. Mm. A little bit. Okay, so you are plus three. You're supported in the in the rear plus four. Right. But you're overlapped over here, so you're plus three again, and I am plus five versus that. Right. Six. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so six total. Four plus five is nine. Now, this guy would recoil because you got a you got um, this guy on your flank. They're, they're destroyed. Okay. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I knew this wasn't going to be as pretty as the last. No. Time. All right. So then the guy that was fighting there, he follows up. So never take on fast blades in the. Well, that's well. Even but even in bad going, they go full speed. So yeah, uh, I'm trying to make learn from my mistakes last time. All right, but now you don't have the, the frontal edge in contact with it, so the side edge doesn't do it. Okay, it was the frontal edge on your flank that okay. did it. All right, so here plus five versus your plus three because your your three plus one four overlaps your four three again. Okay, six plus three is nine. Three plus five is eight. You still beat me. I'm destroyed, and you follow up. All right. 
Okay, so now instead of doing this guy, I'm going to switch over here because now I've got this overlap here. So right. uh, I'm a plus five to your plus three. As you recall, you might have plus so two or plus. No, no, you're you're plus you're plus three plus this one is plus four. Okay, yeah. Reverse four, and then, but then overlap is plus three. Three plus three is six. Six plus five is eleven. Okay, so I don't double you, but uh, I just push you back. So yeah, war bands beaten. Uh, just recoil, All right, including this guy right here, and then I pursue. All right, so now you're overlapped, I'm overlapped, I'm a plus four to your plus three. Six, nine, nine to five, he's destroyed. Ugh. All right, so that's... That's not double, though. It doesn't matter, because, no. yeah, if you look at the, yeah, again. Well, that's your weakness as the warband. Yeah, exactly, faster. yeah, okay. warbands, well, it being blades fast, because, yeah, so the thing is, it's um, not warband, I'm blades. It's, so if I'm less than, I'm destroyed by a warband, or by Knight, Sagittary, and Good Goons. I have a high combat factor, but if I lose, I lose big. Okay. All right, so um, that was my turn, so it's actually your turn now. You can really take advantage of this. We'll see. Oh! <laughs> well, maybe not. Okay. All right. Where can I have the most? No, actually, I think um, these guys should be edge to edge here. Just be, yeah, I'm edge to edge with your guys over there. So I have to pay the turn table? Well, yeah, to move anyway, you're, you're paying. One well, tip. You can basically move one. the wrong way. How does that affect that you know, or was it just? Well, if, if I if I hit you, I mean, he's going to turn to face whoever hits him. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I have to hit him on like front and flank to, to get any advantage on him. So it really depends on how many pips I get. Can I move like this? Uh, well, you could, except that to make a flank contact, you would have to have this front corner. Right. Touching that front corner, and you've got friendlies in the way. So I can just back so, up. Well, you could. See, it doesn't really even matter because you got your side edge to my side edge. I'm already overlapped. I'm already subject to a minus okay. one. So, really, if you want to hit this guy, I would see if there's another element that can maybe move in to overlap him on the other side. Just to, to oh, okay. Talk. If you know what I'm saying. No, not, no, not, not him, because he's he's supporting. Right. He's still he's giving this guy a plus one. It, there's somebody else that maybe has a lot of maneuverability who could Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Alright. Okay, so that's it. We've got two combats. Um which one do you want to yeah, handle yeah, first? Please. Yes. <laughs> Alright, you want to do this one first? Sure. Okay, that would probably be the best one in any case. So this guy's oh man, this guy's spear really got bent uh, I think when I drop my iPod, I can uh, mm. really get a number on it. Yeah, well, these were these were some some of these uh, lead mountain that they they bought they sold uh, in the store thing. So, yeah, because you you bought them at the same time. I think. Yep. Okay. Twelve bucks. So all right, so five dollars. Uh, or I'm sorry, five dollars. Five over oh, on Tuesday. I'm three. You are a plus three rear support, you're a four. Four to my three. So you've got the advantage. All right, and I, I rolled two. Two plus three is five. Six plus four is ten. You double me. Way over to All right, so he's destroyed, and then your warband follow up. And then over here, I am blades. Plus three versus mounted, overlapped over here. I'm a plus two, you're a plus three. Plus one? No, no, no. It's minus one to me for being over there. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I'll get you to it. Five All right. Three, so five plus three is eight. Four plus two is six. So you beat me, you didn't double me, but so blades, um, less than, they're destroyed by a warband. Knights are sidetrack can good going, but you are none of those, so I recoil, and that's basically it. So are but all the I armies, all the different armies available in this game balanced? Uh, they all have their own certain abilities. They or? they all have a yeah, each the, the mix of, of troop types that you have is is gonna to try to reflect the um the mix of troops that they actually had historically. Right. It's it's not 
It's not like some uh, fantasy or sci-fi game where you try to give each side an advantage in the contest because there's, in effect, there's so many armies there. Some of them are are going to be really difficult to win in, in any against any opponent, uh, but uh, most of them are, are going to be competitive against somebody. Uh, the problem with the Vikings uh, that I can see is their blades and their fast blades. So they've got a really high combat factor. They can move fast, um, but their weakness against all this warband is they are quick killed by warband. If, if the, if that's what they call uh, a troop type that destroys the enemy if they only beat them. Normally, you have to double them in combat in order to destroy the opposing element. Okay, but in this case here, even if you win by just one point against blades, the yeah. blades are destroyed, and then, and then you're following up, so you're overlapping the other elements. So um, the other, you know, if you if we once I get my Carolingian Franks done, and now I'm running knights. Right. Knights quick kill war bands, so in good going. So we may see the the Gauls at a disadvantage there. But uh, but yeah, every army has their own personality and, and characteristics. The Vikings are kind of a monotype army though, because they're all blades. Um, even even the general who's a solid blade is is still blades, and there's really only one option for the final element, which is either Saloy, you know, just like your Saloy, mm -hmm. or fast warband on top of the fast blades. Uh, but in this case, I decided to take the the bow element just to see if I could do something with shooting. Yes. So that twelfth element can be one of those three, but everything else is blades. So it's not quite as flexible as some of the other armies. And your your army's a little more flexible, but even there, you're mostly all warband. So it's yeah. all warband versus all blades. It's gonna be tough for the, the Vikings though. So hey, good game. Oh, is it out? Yeah. Oh. That's it, because I, yeah, this, well, I just took this away. But okay, you, just, yeah. you destroyed four elements, which is nice. one third of the army. Once the army takes one third losses, that's it. That was awesome. Yeah. So, All right. Very cool. Okay.